Hello guys, in this video I will talk about the Watership algorithm in OpenCV. We will learn about the Watership segmentation and I will tell you about its advantages. First, <coughs> I adjusted the size of image which I read before in points combined in the as you see that it is, there are many coins which are close to each other and I will read each of them and I will find controls for each and thanks to the watershed algorithm it will be very certain uh, result uh, then I change the color thanks to the CVT color function to the grayscale and after that <coughs> I applied Gauss blue rule then I applied threshold uh, however the image has become binary so that is the image is set to take value of 0 and 1 right now thanks to the thresholding value and then I checked it in the fresh here We use not only OpenCV but also different libraries you know, in my code uh, for image processing application here. I use SkyImage and SkyP uh, SkyImage and SkyP <coughs> libraries in this uh, Python code. SkyImage uh, counter uh, is a library that provides many benefits in counter fighting. I use the end image distance distance and image label. the end image uh, distance transform edits the uh, function in this library and this function finds the equidium distance between the, each of the counter as you see here and image and distance transform edit and threshold uh, we sent to this function to find the equidium distance after various operations, I set the result of the watershed algorithm with the label, uh, labels here. <coughs> uh, labels is a matrix and contains all the labels of the image. At the end, I draw the circle. I draw the circle. Uh, and uh, make the drawing in such a way that it will be the minimum circle of the counter. Uh, we are looping on labels with a for loop here. This for loop is for each of labels that I found before here with these markers and the uh, watershed algorithms. With thanks to the labels uh, variable, I move each label and I made an operation for each of the uh, coin here <coughs> with mask uh, I chip the mask of each coin in the image uh, and make a transaction for them in this transaction I return the value to be 255 for each coin and set the rest to zero in this way, I created a separate image for each coin and performed the desired transaction. Uh, the watershed algorithm helps to better detect drawings that are close to each other. For example, in the code, I wrote in finding controls 
from our previous examples as we remember uh, the algorithm was not working correctly for coins that were close each other but the watershed algorithm didn't detect uh, the objects of such creatures it's a very successful algorithm to find uh, good results for this kind of things if I apply this uh, at the end I basically uh, tend to wait the result see the result if I run the code you will see <coughs> there are two features here one of them is thresholding and the other one is uh, results which I expected before like this and I label each one one by one and we, what it works actually in each label you find the wrong counter and you make your operation only this one and you will not see this size and one by one it moves in from one label to another label and then you make your operations for them thank you for watching my video and please don't forget to subscribe and like my video